If you're looking for a free software for your computer, there's a lot to choose from. There are a lot of free softwares that are really great. And in today's video I'll be showing you 5 of the free software that are actually great to use. We'll be going through these at a quicker pace. First up is the Tor browser. While there are browsers that do a good job of protecting your privacy, like Brave and others, the Tor browser goes a few steps further to give you the maximum privacy and security while browsing the internet, using more than 6,000 Tor relays. This open-source browser encrypts your web traffic within the Tor network to help keep you anonymous while you're online. The trade-off to all this privacy protection is that your browsing will be slower. In addition, it blocks third-party trackers, removes privacy-sensitive data, such as cookies and browsing history, but also lets you access the dark web, which is a collective of sites not indexed by mainstream search engine. When you first launch the Tor browser, you'll get the screen to connect to Tor. Check the box next to Always Connect Automatically to bypass the screen in the future. Then click on Connect to Browse Anonymously. Tor Browser is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. They also have a mobile app available for Android. Inkscape is a fantastic free and open source alternative to Adobe Illustrator. This vector graphics editor's feature pack to create scalable icons, illustrations and logos. There's a huge assortment of tools for object creation and manipulation. You can edit and create compliant SVG formatted files and allows for exporting into other formats including PNG. Easer layout is not too difficult to figure out. Most of the primary tools are located along the left with a color bar at the bottom of the window. When getting started, there is a high learning curve, so it's best to check out their tutorials before diving in. Also, their forum is a great place to get answers to your questions from their community. Inkscape is available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. When searching for files and folders in Windows, the experience is atrocious and an outright embarrassment for Microsoft. Everything is an open source program for Windows only that makes the experience a whole lot better. In fact, it should be built into all Windows operating systems. It's light on system resources and easy to use. But the program open, it lists every file and folder on your computer. When you start typing in the search box, it limits what is displayed, help you find what you're looking for quickly. If you use Windows, everything is a must-have program. Next up OBS Studio is a free and open-source screen recorder. That's great for recording instructional videos, video game footage or anything else on your monitor. It's also popular for streaming video games, Twitch, YouTube and other services. There are no forced watermarks or time limits and you can have an unlimited number of scenes. Just be aware of that on computers below system specs, you may encounter lag. Here's what the user interface looks like. Some people will troubled with the infinity effect. If it bothers you, just minimize it once you start recording. There's a slight learning curve to get it set up for beginner's guide. We'll walk you through the process. OBS Studio is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Blender is an open source graphics toolset that's been used to create animated films. 3D printed models, visual effects, video games, and so much more. Some of its features include 3D modeling, sculpting tools, rigging and skinning and also includes a built-in video editor. For most people at first, they'll find the user interface to be overwhelming. And of all those in this video Blender does have the highest learning curve. Thankfully, they do have useful tutorials on their site to help get you started. Blender is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you give it a thumbs up. What free software do you think we should feature in upcoming videos? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest free software and other tech-related stuff here on Zanestack.